All right, hey, stay tuned, David, because, honey, you, you like tough guys. Oh, yeah. I got a tough guy here. Mertis Deitman started his rodeo career back in 1961. He was the first black cowboy to ride the National Rodeo Finals. Many credit him with paving the way for future rodeo stars. Mr. Deitman is now being inducted into the Rodeo Hall of Fame. Mertis Deitman was a cowboy that started the blacks to ride with the whites. It, it, it was a while before they started letting the black cowboys ride with the, the white cowboys. In the 60s, for him not to complain about uh, being discriminated against, and he was. And he called for his bull, they wouldn't open the gate. So you have a gate man, you have a stock man, and, and uh, so they wouldn't open the gate for him. And so we what to do, the bull be in there beating him, beating him up against, you know, beating his leg, hitting his leg. He spent any time talking with Murtis about that time. Um, he downplays what he experienced. And uh, I never met no problem like that. So even in the South? No, ma'am, no place. I've never been, I've been all the world four or five times, about longer than that, and never been in no place like that. Murtis, along with James Francis, the president, was the first one to form the first black trail riding group to come into Houston, to the Houston Livestock Show and Rodeo. Tell us about some of the, I mean, this had not, this couldn't be easy to do. It's a tough sport anyway. Then you go into some arenas and maybe some people didn't want you in there. There's a lot of things you have to go by in rules and regulations. But sometimes you try to ease by them a different way or then you can find an easier way to do it, you know, but it ain't always that easy. They just rodeoed on weekends. But Murtis, you know, he's exciting because he went, he is from Texas and he rodeo you know, everywhere, all the time. So I said, that's that's excitement. That's what I want to do. I want to be like Murtis. I want to rodeo everywhere like Murtis. One of the one of the themes of my story on on Murtis has to do with him being called the Jackie Robinson of rodeo. When Jackie Robinson broke baseball's color barrier in 1947, he overcame adversity not with a stick and ball, but with his character. Talent once again met tenacity nearly 20 years later when Murtis Deitman became the Jackie Robinson of rodeo. Spurring change, the Murtis Deitman story.